I think there's an important point here, and, and a deeply philosophical one, and, and I think a crucial one, which relates to property rights, because obviously we disagree pretty fundamentally about the nature of property rights. I, I, I believe what a, what a government does is recognize the property rights that exist in a state of nature, if you will. Natural resources do not just exist in the world. Natural resources, for the most part, are created by individuals. Agriculture doesn't just exist. Somebody has to create it. Somebody has to invent it. Somebody has to build it. Somebody has to build the canals to bring the water there. Somebody creates it. Uh, land is not a natural resource until somebody plows it and puts seeds in the ground. Somebody works the land. Oil. Oil is black guck, junk, horrible stuff that you have on the land until somebody discovers how to refine it and turn it into a natural resource. But there's nothing natural about it. The only resource human beings have is their mind. It's their ability to change the world to suit their needs. All government does is recognize when an individual has done exactly that. Change, use his mind to change his environment to suit his needs. And it recognizes that by doing so, that which he changed is his. When you write software, you wrote software. It's your software. People don't have a right to copy it any more than they have a right to copy Michelangelo and write Michelangelo at the bottom of it. That's fraud. Uh, so what the state is doing is recognizing something that exists, and indeed not just something that exists. Without private property, there is no progress. There is no human creativity. There is no human productiveness. There is no human life. Private property is a requirement for human survival.